Hi everybody, it's Chris Frame here and I'm really excited to bring you the Qantas Boeing 747-400. And here it is, VHOJS, the uh, Qantas 747-400 that I flew on uh, from Perth to Sydney on QF582. Qantas has got their 747-400s on domestic duties at the moment. This particular aircraft had just flown in from Sydney uh, and prior to that had flown to Sydney from San Francisco. So it certainly is a long-range aircraft and it's a very comfortable way to fly on the relatively short domestic service. This here is a view of the 747 at uh, Perth. This is a view from the Qantas Club Lounge and it has that great view of the aircraft from the big windows there. So let's go aboard and explore the aircraft. The first area I'll show you is the premium economy cabin. Uh, it's in a 242 configuration and uh, you can see here uh, the premium economy seating. Just stepping back now into the main economy cabin uh, and it gives you a bit of an idea as to what the economy seats look like with their relatively big uh, TV screens there. And it's the same type of seating that you have on the Airbus A380. The aft cabin is done in a green colour and brightens the aircraft up a bit and uh, again views of the uh, in-seat entertainment systems and that's of the Panasonic design. Now Qantas reserves the upper deck, that famous upper deck for business class only. These 747s are configured in three classes uh, and uh, I'll show you the Skybed Mark II in a bit more detail shortly but you can just see how it's laid out on the upper deck in a 2-2 configuration. And if you can get the exit row, you have the benefit of extra legroom so the person on the window can get out of their seat without having to climb over the person next to them. Now this is my seat. Uh, in my opinion, seat 5A and 5K are the best for sol solo travellers on the 747. Uh, and this is because they have no one next to them, so they are a single seat with extra storage and a window view. They also have ample legroom because of the exit door. The only thing to be aware of is in 5A, uh, you do have the air bridge right there in the main door um, in front of you, so you will have a lot of passengers passing you by. So perhaps board the aircraft but towards the end of boarding, so you're not sitting there watching 400 people go past you. So here we go, push back and it's time to get on our way to Sydney. And in the background there you can see one of the 787s which has just arrived direct from London. So it's a bit of a, a tribute there with the new replacing the old at Qantas.
check out the business class offering on Qantas and 747s. Seat 5A has to be one of the best in terms of legroom. There's just a huge amount of legroom there uh, for you being on the exit. Each seat comes with a large comfortable pillow uh, and one of the new style Qantas blankets which has the tan and black colours there and that also is uh, very comfortable uh, and keeps you nice and warm. And that's important when you're sitting next to the exit because it can get quite cold. The in-flight entertainment system is managed through either the touch screen or this handheld remote which pulls out of a panel uh, to your left hand side there. Underneath that there's a little storage pouch and this has your uh, noise cancelling headphones and they're the new style that was introduced when the um, new business suite was put into service. Looking around here that's where you plug it in just uh, on the main panel there there's a space for a water bottle the crew handed out water later in the flight uh, and a personal reading light which illuminates when you pull it out and you can adjust how bright it is. It's a pretty large panel here uh, that separates the two seats uh, and it's uh, got the TV screen in there which is controlled by the button. Now mine was a little bit stubborn uh, and it was uh, a bit, bit uh, awkward to operate but eventually at the press of a button uh, it did pop up. And so it pops up there and you can adjust it to your favourite height or angle so that you get the best view of the screen. And so just be aware that when you're using it, it's not a scroll screen, you actually do have to use the directional buttons. But there's a huge amount of choice, Qantas has such a great in-flight entertainment system. Uh, there's premiere, new release movies, there's um, encore, there's classics, there's Australian favourites. They have Oscar winning films, box sets, uh, including the Avengers series and Jurassic Park, or the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World movies. Uh, if you get confused, you can look at the instructions on how to use the system uh, and it's just really simple to use. Then the tray table which folds out there uh, from the panel. It's a big tray table, plenty of space to put your food down. Mine was a little bit grubby uh, from the previous flight but uh, they do put down a tablecloth. And then looking down to the bottom of the panel we have the power cables, USB and um, normal power plugs in perhaps the most impractical place you could possibly imagine down by your feet but uh, it is an older generation seat so I suppose uh, these things have been improved on because on the business suite it's in a much better location up uh, near where your hands are. So this is just a view of the flight map, the route map you can see we're just taking off from Perth and then just looking up at the retro looking light panel and everyone has individual air vents as well and of course you look out the window which 5A is such a nice seat for because you have an aisle and a window. seat control panel and it allows you to adjust the seat into a variety of different uh, positions. Uh, you can adjust the backrest, you can put it out into a fully flat bed and it also has this little button that allows you to save your favourite position and then recall on it later. Here's a look at the menu and it was a lunchtime service today. I had the dull soup uh, and then the fish. Checking out the in-flight entertainment again, a little bit of a look at the way that the system operates. The press button is there. As I mentioned, there's a very great selection. There's also a whole heap of TV shows, box sets, comedy, documentaries, National Geographic, all sorts of other things. But you can just see here from the movie side. And Qantas also has a really great audio selection, including some really interesting podcasts. The 
might have noticed that the in-flight entertainment system looked like it had a bit of a lag on it and this is because the system actually broke down during the flight and they had to reset it uh, and so we had for maybe about 10-15 minutes a blank screen with uh, the reset icons coming up on it. During that time the crew served drinks uh, I had a scotch and dry and some uh, pretzels that you can see there were handed out as well. Now they started to serve lunch. Uh, and so everyone is presented with a side plate that has the um, sourdough bread on it as well as a salad and you can just see how the lunch was presented. The crew on this flight were absolutely fantastic, really attentive uh, and uh, had been with Qantas for a long time. Uh, one that I was speaking to had been with the airline for 35 years and had always worked on the 747 uh, and so they took their, their roles very seriously, it was very professional. This is a look at how the fish was presented and both the soup and the fish were extremely tasty. Well cooked and of course had this opportunity to finish things off with a nice dessert. Uh, and again, that was very nicely presented and tasted fantastic. And then they offered a coffee service, um, filtered coffee on Qantas. And you can see here uh, just how that looks. With a very slight amount of turbulence starting to crop up now. Let's just a look at the bathroom on board the 747. Uh, it was very clean, very nicely maintained, not quite as modern looking as the bathrooms on the 787 of course, uh, but it was perfectly adequate and kept clean which of course is the most important part. After the dinner service they dimmed the lights and the aircraft has this blue lighting throughout, just giving you a little glimpse there previously into the nose of the aircraft uh, and then screen all lit up there near the exit door and we're starting to approach Sydney now. Um, the flight was over all too quickly, three hours and 55 minutes, it was very fast. But a really nice opportunity to fly on the 747 again. A video like this wouldn't be complete without showing you what the bed looks like. So this is the Skybed Mark II in bed mode. It extends to a two meter long fully flat bed. Uh, it has uh, no support on the feet in the mechanism so it does droop down just a slight bit but otherwise it's extremely comfortable um, it's wide enough for you to comfortably sleep on uh, and of course it's long enough for somebody my height and this is the view when you're lying down in the bed a nice view of the seatbelt sign which is now on uh, due to some slight turbulence that we encountered and then all too quickly it was time to start packing up and get ready for our landing one last thing I just wanted to show you was the storage bin that sits next to 5A and 5K. It just gives you extra in-seat storage that none of the other seats on the aircraft have. Of course, those seats on the window on the upper deck also have a smaller storage compartment next to them. And now we're approaching Sydney. So uh, views of the Sydney lights twinkling as the aircraft makes its descent.
So I hope you enjoyed this flight with me on the Qantas Boeing 747-400. It was a real thrill to be back on the 747. Uh, and uh, please let me know what you thought of this aircraft in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos, including QF10, the direct service from London Heathrow to Perth. And I'll also be posting another video next week of the Boeing 737 with Virgin Australia. So thanks once again, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.